Hey guys, I'm out here uh, making sure the ducklings are okay. It's a beautiful sunny day and they're doing good. Making sure the chickens are okay and not uh, feeling a little lonely because I've been paying too much attention to the ducks. Come along. What you see there, Whitney girl? Huh? What's that? Is that your new uh, sister that doesn't look or sound like a chicken? Well, one of them is your sister. The white one. The Peking. But the brown one, Khaki Campbell is a male. I can just tell. Every time I pick him up, he's got a rasp. Definitely gonna be a male. Yep. All the girls are just coming to say hi. They'd probably be okay if I let them out, but I'm going to keep them in, in here for a couple more weeks. Just to keep them safe. Once they get a little bigger, fully feathered, then they'll be okay. Yep. She is skittish. He's pretty quiet, though. So this is the little fiasco I have to go through every night because if I reach in there, they go to this side. And if I come to this side, they go to this side. So back and forth, so I can't figure it out. So this is what I figured out. Watch out, Whitney girl. So I put the bucket there. And I know if I come down here, they'll go to that side. So then I gotta pick this thing up and kind of move it. Let's see if I can get that. So I pick this up a little bit. Move it. And I got one. The other one. The other one. She's she is so afraid. Alright. Let's see if I can get the other one to come out here. Oh my gosh. I keep getting I keep getting him. There we go. There we go. I had to use a little bit of camera English. So let's see if I can uh, she, so, see listen to him. I don't know. Maybe he is a I keep thinking he's a, a male but I don't know anymore. Alright so now I got him and move this back. The hens want to eat. I don't know what they're trying to eat. It's kind of disgusting but not letting that happen. Alright, so I got him for the night. It's gonna be too cold out here. Look, it's levitating. <laughs> I gotta get these guys in. Too gonna be too cold out here tonight. Let's go. They crack me up when they look over. I don't know why they're so deathly afraid of me. But they are. All right, let's get these duckies back here into the clean. Oh my gosh, for the 27th time that I did that. Let's uh, come here. Come here. He kind of, he's getting used to it, but she is not happy with me at all. All right. Here is Rasp. His... Okay, relax. For heaven's sakes. Thank you. Yeah, they were cooped up in the house yesterday. Today I'm going to let them out again. It's going to be like 60. They're getting a little bit too big for the bucket now. I'm going to have to get a new, a new carrying... Uh, some carrier, I guess, but they're on their bellies, their feathers are fully in and they're starting to come up their chest now and onto their wings. So, yep, taking them out again, getting them outside. So, my bluebells keep doing this weird thing where they're 
laying out here. I don't know why, because she was just in that nesting box over there. So I don't know what's going on, but this um, one particular blue bell, I don't know which one it is, but this is very rigid. So what I did was I removed the oyster shells, the ground up oyster shell from, so they wouldn't be um, trying to eat that so much. I wanted to see if this, this is not smooth at all. So I think one of them is eating, I think too much of that um, oyster shell. So one of these, I think it might be this one. I don't know. But we'll see. What, Martha, what, what, what? So I was hoping that removing the oyster shell would help um, kind of calm this down a little bit. It's very rough. All right, the duckies are out. I had to get them out of the house. They had to be in there all day yesterday. And Got home from work and I had to clean out the cage again. And get it out of the house and clean it up again. So tonight, it looks like I'm gonna have to get one more bag of the pine flakes. Cause I think I'm running out. I was hoping they'd get fully feathered so I could get them outside, but sooner. But the weather hasn't cooperated every day so all right girls you guys having a meeting oh some of the duck feed had fell on the ground so of course they're gonna stand there for an hour trying to eat it yeah. <laughs> i looked at the bag and it's fine for uh, chickens also i had thought the bag was medicated but it wasn't i was mistaken on that I know some of you were saying you don't feed them medicated, so I always do that for my chicks, but I didn't know about ducks. Alright, alright girls. Enjoy your sisters today. You know, your sister and your now you got a brother too, so yeah, he'll hopefully look out for you. Take care of you over the years. The duckies are doing good. They're just uh, making a huge mess of their water, so I gotta get that. Gotta clean, keep the bucket out here so I can clean it out several times. Because in the house, they don't have all the dirt to. Um... <laughs> all right, girls, watch out. There you go. They have to have their treat too. Hens are like, hey, why are you um, avoiding us? I'm not. Oh, I do feel like I'm a little out of sorts today. Actually, this whole week, I gotta get him a cabbage. I gotta clean that water. I gotta get this water cleaned out for the ducks. Yeah, they just uh, make a royal mess of this water. Look at this. Look at this mess. Holy moly. This is just duck mud soup. Yeah, that's the ducky mud soup. They like to, uh... Yep, ducky mud soup. They love messing in the dirt. Yes, they do. Very much. I'm pretty confident that I have a male and a female. I'm almost certain, as certain as I can be, the Peking, Peking is a female, and the Khaki Campbell is a male. And they avoid me like the plague. 
I've been trying to just hold them for a minute and they will calm down a little bit but not much the female she screams the whole time and then she'll finally after about a minute calm down the male he's pretty quiet so he almost never makes any much many sounds at all but he is fast I have to enter him into the Olympics he is man he's a Olympic speed runner what are you what are you scaredy chickens doing huh what are you scaredy chickens doing but everybody's doing pretty good can't complain yeah, I can't complain. Hens are doing good. Yep. Yeah. Hold on, girl. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that, queen. I apologize. Hopefully she uh, doesn't send out the guard and they take me away. She is the queen. This little one right here, this one here, Misty, she's been jumping up on top of this and then exiting over here. And I gotta run after her. A pain in the patootie. But it's hard to see the ducks in there, but pretty soon I'll be letting them out. I keep getting a uh, I gotta make a latch for this. I've been thinking about what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna screw a piece of wood in there and then lift it up and it'll hold. I'm gonna do that this weekend. But I'm getting eggs back here <laughs> a lot of times. Yeah. So the pads are 13 by 13, but my nesting boxes are more like. 15 or this might be 14 I think this one's 15 so by 15 but the girls are doing well doing well how you doing there Winnie girl the ducks took to the um, hens with no problems they don't they don't really bother each other like if the hen walks by the duck they don't, doesn't even bother them at all. But if I walk by, they have a conniption fit. But other than that, they're doing good. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the great comments and all the names for the ducks. <laughs> I'm definitely going to think about them. and I've been trying to think of names for the ducks. I can't think of anything right now. I had a couple ideas, and I was like, nah. I don't know. I was going to think of some Star Wars theme, and then I was like, well, I'm a big Star Trek fan, but I couldn't think of anything in Star Trek, so. Ah, we'll see. But thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys. hope you had a great week, and I hope you're all doing well. Take care, guys. God bless.